Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to filter your data from a list. And to do this, we're gonna be using the filter and the match function. Let's check it out. All right, so in this example, we're gonna be looking at everything in a single sheet, but you could totally do this across multiple sheets in a spreadsheet. Uh, it's just gonna be easier to kind of see what's going on in this case. If this sounds really familiar, then you probably watched my filter excluding data from a list, which it's pretty much gonna be the same thing, just with one little tweak. But just to recap, what we're doing here is we have our master data. So this is whatever big data set you have that you're gonna to try to filter down uh, in the middle here in green. And then we have our inclusive list here on the right, which is basically just gonna be that list of things you want it to pull out, that you want to include in your filter, okay? And this uh, blue section here is gonna be our filter list. This is where we're gonna be working and hopefully our final product. So let's jump in right here with the final formula and see what it looks like. So the formula here is pretty simple. We're gonna paste it in it uses the filter and the match function and it uses the basic setup of the filter function which is we look for what data are we filtering and then what's the true false condition that uh, will result in how it's filtered the thing here is match can be a little tricky sometimes uh, so it's worth taking a look at how this works together this is good because you're not hard coding in your filters uh, you have just a list that you can manage on the side that will automatically update this list as you go so if we uh, drop this in, we'll hit enter, uh, we see that it is working and we're going from our master list looking at this and it's only including the items that has uh, Sally's ID. So let's break this down real quick. So working from the inside out, if we were just to do the match, what we're gonna do is actually take the full set of data. So that's your E3E, which is the unique ID part that we're trying to look up in our data. Uh, and match that against our include list. So we'll do i3i, and we wanna do that on the parameter zero, which is where it's an exact match. So if we close that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna actually only look at that first value because it's not doing any array functions on top. It's not actually looking through the whole list, which is why we see that error that says, do not find value one, two, three, four in match evaluation. And what that returns is an NA. This is very similar to what we saw in the exclude list, except this time, it's showing the NA against the fields that are not on that list, and we don't want those NAs. We want anything that's included. So this is why we're not doing anything with those NAs, and it's actually good that that shows up as an error because that triggers a false statement in our filter. So if we add on top of that our filter, and then we will filter out the data we want, which is E3 to G, the whole set, the comma separates the, our data range from our condition in the filter. So this condition is exactly what we just discussed, which is looking up against the include list and seeing if it is a match or not. So if we just close this filter with that, hit enter, we should now see only the things that we said to include. So if we test this by adding more people, we see now Bill shows up. There's nothing we have to do with the formula. We just manage this list and it continues to work. And if we do another one that has multiples, then we see we now have all of them. So the consideration here is whether you have more to include or more to exclude, and that's where you might use one or the other. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how the exclude one works, there'll be a link in the description for that video. And that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you next time.